Hello my lovely darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about the playful feminine energy that make men melt. And we do talk a lot about feminine energy on my channel and there are different types of feminine energy. I invite you to see my video about the archetypes of femininity. It's very helpful to understand that there are different types of feminine energy. You can absolutely have a multiple type of feminine energy in one person but today we're going to talk about the playful feminine energy the kind of princess playful joyful adorable energy and it really is an irresistible energy for men so if you want to know more keep on watching but first just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content i talk about fashion femininity old hollywood glamour seduction dating and anything to level up and to make you become the best version of yourself and to transform yourself into a high caliber woman feel free to join the channel the link is down below also follow me on my instagram which is at lisa Hartstein. by the way ladies i wanted to introduce you to the sponsor of this video which is skillshare skillshare is all about being creative you know how much i love being creative and it puts you directly in your feminine energy. Skillshare is an amazing online learning community to better yourself. We are on a leveling up journey after all ladies. So I think Skillshare could really help us. This is why I think I did not hesitate to partner with them. They have thousands of inspiring classes for creatives. They have music, art, design, painting, production, film, videos, movies, and even entrepreneurship. Like in case I have some ladies that want to build a business, they have that. They have a lot of different things. And so I decided to learn more about acting. I always wanted to, and I think I've never had time to take a full on classes to learn how to act. You know how much I love movies, how much I love analyzing them. I'm such a geek with old movies and vintage movies. And on top of it, I also decided to take a painting class because I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to learn about painting. It's so practical because if you have a big schedule like I do, it's available all the time you can do it everywhere you can bring your laptop somewhere and listen to a class it's so amazing you learn new things so my darlings feel free to check their website through the link down below and the first a thousand people to use my link in the description below we have a one month free trial for Skillshare this playful irresistible feminine energy is very alluring for men and noticed I was doing it without even noticing <laughs> this playful feminine energy i would define it with being more in touch with a girly girl uh, being more carefree and being more like going with the flow type of energy joyful and playful it's just it's just adorable even as women we love it so men of course they even love it more because it's like oh i want to protect her i feel strong and powerful i feel like the hero and i feel like she's the damsel in distress the princess so we touch directly into their male ego <laughs> they want to feel good they want to feel strong and powerful and of course the feminine playful energy let them do it so the first tip would be being in touch with what you liked as a child being in touch with what you liked as a little girl what did you enjoy when you were young what did you enjoy doing personally i loved playing with my barbies and like inventing stories and making clothes for my barbies <laughs> I was really into Barbies when I was younger. Let me know down below if you were also into Barbies and like I was really into Totally Spies and pink and whatever, super girly. I, I remember when we were young, we were so joyful and innocent and everything was around playing. We were just playing, playing, playing all the time. And it's that type of spirit, you know, like playful always kind of playing always kind of joking always kind of being that type of energy it's positive energy in the receiving end the man feels amazing around that type of energy tip number two is having passion i think that passionate people are so alluring i say that a lot in my videos i think i said it in my video on how to be irresistible through your personality i will link it below in case you want to watch it i feel like having passions is just making you more positive and we all want to be around positive people 
nobody wants to be around negative, ugh, annoying people, you know. Everybody wants to be around that type of spirit because they all want to be like this. It's just like confident people, they attract others because everybody wants to be like them. They want to get a little bit of that confidence. They want to get it for themselves, so that's why they're attracted to it. Uh, it's the same with positivity, it's the same with that type of playful, funny energy. That's, that's why people that are funny are so attractive as well. Because we want to be around those person, we want to feel good, they make us feel good. Being passionate about something, being passionate about an activity that you enjoy, rather that sport, your hobby, maybe your job, maybe you're a housewife or a mother and you're passionate about your family. Maybe that's your clothes, just like me. <laughs> you're passionate about fashion or a hobby or dancing. Maybe that's playing tennis maybe that's traveling maybe that's art maybe that's cinema I love I'm passionate about old movies as you know so that's really alluring that increase your confidence that increase your elegance as well because anybody that is passionate about a subject is very knowledgeable on this subject so then you can impress people with your knowledge with your culture when people talk about their passion they are so attractive because they have this spark on their eyes and you can see it and you're like wow next advice would be appreciate little things like taking time to actually appreciate little things is very much a feminine energy the details of life the landscape the view oh the little flower here your dress the weather the people how beautiful you feel you know also like when i feel like i come with my dress and i'm like i feel so beautiful it is so irresistible when you do this have you seen how beautiful i look look at my dress look at my dress <laughs> it's a beautiful dress did you ever see such a beautiful dress how excited you are to spend time with him, how the park is beautiful, you know, appreciating the beauty around you. Everyone is rushed nowadays. Everyone is rushed doing their thing. Everyone is like focused and stressed and just negative. They don't have time for anything. So really taking time to appreciate little things here and there and being fully into it like and being fully focused on your experience and on the experience that you have around you on your sensation in your body is really something very alluring it's really something that's going to make you stand out from like other people they're just rushing and just like they don't have time they don't have time blah 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 no you have all the time in the world you're like present you are playful you my it's just like a room isn't it Oh, look! Round windows! Yes, dear. Just like the Disney princesses, they have all the time in the world to really appreciate the things around them. Oh, look at the little bird. Look at the tree. Oh. <laughs> I know it's not easy to do that when you work, when you don't have time and all of that, but you can take that time, for example, during the weekend or during vacation or when you have a date or something like this, when you have a date with your husband, when you have a date with a new man, you can actually take that time to make yourself beautiful, make yourself feel good and confident and then enjoy the things around you and relax. Next is asking him advice. Oh please, I need help. Having that kind of voice that is soothing and like just like Marilyn Monroe when she's asking for something that kind of dams down distress. You shouldn't write me every day. I'll be so lonesome. Oh, I bought you a little going away present, dear. Daddy, Daddy. Sometimes I think there's only one of you in the whole wide world. I'm always taking the example in my videos of when you go to the grocery store and you ask for help from a man. Have you ever tried it? I want you, my ladies, to try it because that's so funny. And if you really bring that type of feminine energy, like he's just gonna run helping you and really be proud of himself because it's make him feel like the hero. They want to help you. They love to help you. I always say that, ladies. They love it, so let them do it. I think I saw a video on a woman saying that, you know, a guy did horrible things to her he cheated on her he did all of those things to her and she said but i don't understand like i take care of myself and i paid for everything and i was like "Ooh," because when you pay for everything for a man he doesn't really value you he kind of feel emasculated because he feel like 
what's my role in this? Like, what's my purpose? But they feel like this. They feel like they need to have a purpose. They need to have something to bring. Like, like really you admiring him and really him being this strong alpha man. And if you're helping him, he's not going to value you as this high value woman. He's, he, he's going to maybe use you while looking for another high value woman with who he can be the real hero, with who he can be truly valuable. So let him prove himself. Let him be the prince. Let him help you. Let him be the hero. Let him be the man. Next is, for example, when you want something, just the idea of the thing makes you bring you joy just the idea of it and i think that it brings him even more joy when he wants to offer you a gift when he wants to offer you something and you want it but you're like you're already excited but you didn't even have it that's already such a beautiful feminine energy that you bring even before having it so then he gets a little bit of that playful feminine energy and he's like oh wow if she's that happy even before having the gift how is she going to be when she have it because you know the only purpose of a masculine man is really to make you happy he wants to bring you joy he wants to see you joyful and that's why he's working so hard he wants to really make you the happiest woman on earth so when he sees that you're already really joyful even before having the gift and you're like excited you have the excitement and the butterfly in your stomach then he's like oh my god what is it going to be when she will have the gift? Next advice, being curious about the world around you. Being curious, like asking yourself, asking questions, oh, what is this? Have you noticed like Disney princesses, they're always curious, oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? I feel like the Sleeping Beauty or something like this. Being curious about the world around you. It's so alluring to have someone being very interesting in some things. When you're someone that can actually focus on the other person, on the world around you, on the activity that you're doing, it is so alluring because most people are like half there, they're not really focused. When you're curious about the world around you, you're like, having naturally this playful spirit, this playful feminine energy, when you're asking questions. When you don't know something, you can ask questions. There is no need to know everything about everything. Next is laughing, making jokes, being a little bit silly, making little noises. <laughs> So I noticed something is that it's adorable to actually be funny, to make jokes, to be silly, a little bit crazy. I have a little bit of craziness in me. I can be also a little bit sarcastic, like a femme fatale, but like the silly kind of humor, I think it's just fun. It's just silly. It doesn't need to be that serious, you know. You don't need to overthink it about having this playful energy. It's just something that you can feel. They scrambled the Spice Channel at Grandma Yetta's retirement home. Oh. Two freak pregnancies. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to let go a little bit of everything is so serious and have a little bit of fun. I recommend also dancing. Do, 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 do. Dancing all the time. It just brings you your playful feminine energy. And if you feel like you are in a show or like you are on a stage and you feel like a star. Some of you also said that you feel truly feminine when you put like on a Victoria's Secret fashion show and you feel like you are the model. Do it as well, that's so fun. I love this. Next is dressing in a feminine way. Of course, dressing in a feminine way puts you in the character. When you dress in a feminine way, you tend to act in a more feminine way without even noticing. I just see it. When I have this playful dress, I feel like a princess and I act like a princess. And when I have a more sexy bombshell dress, I act like more of a, you know, a Monica Bellucci type of way. So your clothes really have an impact on how you act, on your personality, on everything. I feel like if you want to know how to dress more feminine and finding your kind of feminine style, I invite you to see my video about the archetype of femininity. It will like help you a little bit because I talk about different type of style. And also I have a full playlist on how to dress feminine, how to dress seductive, and, and I have a lot of different advice so feel free to check it out.
at the end of the day, he will be melt in front of your playful feminine energy. Being the masculine strong around you, provide for you, protect you, that's so delicious that he will want to do anything for you. Like he's the hero, then he will climb mountains for you so thank you for watching my darlings i hope you liked it and i hope that helped you a lot i hope that helped you a lot understanding more about this playful princess energy don't forget to join the channel the link is down below also follow me on my instagram which is at lisa Heart style take care and until next time i'm giving you so much kisses and take care of you Mwah. Sorry, I don't know how to sing and I sing in French, so thank you. <laughs>